Hey, what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, I showed you how a circle is drawn using the equation of a circle. And in this video, we are going to draw one. So let's get started and let's not waste any time. So first and foremost, I'm going to explain the first line here, which is essentially just getting the UV texture coordinates. And here we're just remapping them to be in the range that we want them to be. So in this case, we're just remapping the origin to be at the center of the texture. And then here we're just applying some aspect ratio transformation. So to draw a circle in the previous video we say that a circle has an origin so it only makes sense to define a float to which will hold our x and y um, coordinates for the origin so our region uh, like that and then that's going to be equal to a float for and then I'm going to initialize that to be 0 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis. Now I'm using the metal shader language. However, the principles here do apply on other shading languages. So do keep that in mind. And I made a typo here. It should be float 4. And then now that we have the origin, we need the circle radius. So we're going to say float 2. Um, actually, not a float 2. Um, the circle radius is just uh, a number. So we're just going to say circle radius. And that's going to be equals to the distance formula. And we did say this in the previous video that to get the distance between the origin and the boundary of a circle we need to use the distance formula so this pre-built function basically just uses the distance formula to get the distance between two coordinates or two points so the two points we want to get the distance of is essentially the origin of the circle and then the boundary of the circle i'm just going to pass in the uv which is just going to be one um so the our circle radius is going to be one in this case okay so I'm going to do that. And then once we have this, we need to tell the shader to pick whatever pixel um, is in within the circle radius. OK, any pixel that's within this radius, um, essentially what we want to do um, is we want to color that um, pixel to be a particular color. Right. So we're going to color this pixel to be, I don't know, yellow. Yeah, let's do yellow. All right. So let's do yellow. Yellow is a good color. Uh, actually not, but <laughs> yeah. So once we did that, we basically told the, the fragment shader that any, 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 any pixel within that circle radius, we want to color it yellow. Otherwise, any pixel that's outside that circle radius, we don't really want to color it in. So we just want to want it, we just want it black. All right, so let's just do black. Or you could turn on the opacity down zero, that's the alpha, I mean which will just make everything outside the circle transparent. Um, this only works if you have transparency turned on on your renderer. However, in mine, I don't really have it turned on, so it doesn't really make any difference. So essentially, this is it, guys. So if we run this, um, we should be seeing a yellow circle drawn on our screen. And uh, that is essentially it. It's pretty simple pretty easy however the circle does have some defects on the edges um, it's not really smooth however you can smooth it out using the smooth step however i'm not going to do that in this video i'm going to leave that as a challenge for you guys to use a more smooth step to basically smooth out the edges of this circle to make it look a little bit more crispy and a little bit more clean and uh, high fidelity so yeah Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more videos like these, do hit that subscribe and like button as this does help grow the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care and uh, have a good one. Cheers.